let us now look at the next example where the question is based on the angles of depression right it says the angles of depression of two ships from the top of a lighthouse are 45 degrees and 30 degrees towards east if the ships are 200 meters apart find the height of the lighthouse and we have been given four answer options here 100 meters 173 meters 200 meters and 273 meters so as you all are aware it's all about drawing the right diagram considering the right triangles there and using the proper trigonometric ratios to arrive at the required answer so it says the angles of depression i think the first question in the session on angles of depression right the angles of depression of two ships from the top of a lighthouse so there is a lighthouse right like a tower and the angles of depression are 45 degrees and 30 degrees towards east right both are towards east it says and the ships are 200 meters apart the distance between the two ships is 200 meters apart right so how how does the uh, diagram look like here let's say this is the lighthouse ground g and the top of the lighthouse is l okay and this is the sea here right not the ground actually the sea level and there are two ships this is let's say ship one s and the other ship is s dash right s and s dash these are the two ships now it says the distance between the two ships is 200 meters so this distance here is 200 meters all right now the angles of depression of the two ships from the lighthouse are 45 degrees and 30 degrees now we know that the angles of depression are measured with respect to a horizontal let's say this is the horizontal there the angles of depression are 45 and 30 degrees right so if we connect you know if we try to draw the line of sight this is the first one and here is the second one okay obviously if you are considering the angle with respect to the horizontal 45 and 30 degrees are the two given angles so the smaller one will be 30 degrees right and the larger one is 45 degrees so we can say that the ship s makes an angle of 45 degrees or for for the ship s the angle of depression is 45 degrees and for the ship s dash the angle of depression is 30 degrees right and and we have also learned that as we move closer the angle of uh, elevation or the angle of depression increases right so that is the point right when you are moving closer the angle of depression see the distance between ship and the lighthouse s and lighthouse is less when the distance is less angle of depression or the angle of elevation will be more so that is the reason the angle here is more so there should not be any confusion with respect to which is 30 degrees and which is 45 degrees it should be very easy to um, mark the angles there right now what is this given here and both the angles are towards east so that is the reason we have taken both the angles towards this side right east right now the ships are 200 meters apart find the height of the lighthouse so we need to find the height of the lighthouse which is L, h let us take the height of the lighthouse is h now uh, something missing here is the distance between the points g and s right the foot of the lighthouse and the ship s let us consider it as d all right so again two right angle triangles the first one is g s l and the second one is g s dash l so for g s l the base is d for g s dash l the base is d plus 200 i think similar to the previous uh, question here but it is in terms of angles of depression now the one important point which you all need to understand here is if for s dash the angle of depression is 30 degrees if this angle is 30 degrees even this angle is going to be 30 degrees right likewise for s the angle of depression is 45 degrees so the angle made by this point with respect to horizontal or this line with respect to horizontal will be 45 degrees this is uh, from our knowledge of alternate angles we know that when two parallel lines are cut by a transversal the alternate angles are equal right so this 30 degrees and this 30 degrees will be equal these are alternate angles right this is like the transversal we have got two parallel lines this horizontal and this horizontal so for this transversal ls dash this is 30 and the alternate angle also would be 30 and for the transversal ls if this is 45 degrees the alternate angle will be 45 degrees right so we know that angles of elevation now if you look at s dash for s dash the angle of elevation is 45 uh, 30 degrees for the point l and for s the angle of elevation is 45 degrees so basically we have you know converted the problem which was in terms of angle of depression to angle of elevation all right now simply solve the two equations and you will get the answer right let's consider uh, the triangle gsl right triangle gsl what do we see uh, angle is 45 degrees tan 45 degrees which is equal to 1 right what is tan 45 opposite h by adjacent d h by d so we can say h is equal to d that's the first conclusion or the first equation that we have now look at the second triangle here triangle you know g s dash l g s dash l what do we see tan of 30 degrees what is tan 30 
1 upon root 3 right tan 30 again will be opposite which is h by adjacent is how much d plus 200 right total length is d plus 200 d plus 200 now from this we can say uh, d plus 200 will be equal to root 3 into h right cross multiplication d plus 200 will be equal to root 3 into h now the question says find the height of the lighthouse height of the lighthouse is h and two equations equation 1 says h equals to d equation 2 says uh, d plus 200 equals to root 3h. Two equations, two variables can be solved. Now what do we do? Simply substitute d equals to h in this equation. So we will get only one equation in terms of height there. So we can conclude that, see d is equal to h. So h plus 200 equals to root 3h. Or if we take this h on the other side, what do we get? 200 equals to root 3 minus 1 into h. Simplify this. So from this height h will be 200 pi root 3 minus 1. Of course, we can cut down the number of steps. I am just trying to give you the detailed solution there. Now, 200 by root 3 minus 1. What is root 3? 1.732, right? Approximately 1.732, up to 3 decimal places. 1.732 minus 1, 0.732. So, answer will be 200 by 0.732 meters. And I think the options are simplified here. Uh, so what will it be 200 by 0 0.732 I think without doing any simplification you can say that the answer has to be option D 273 meters now how do we know this the simple logic here is the denominator is less than 1 when the denominator is less than 1 the answer should be more than 200 yes or no this is like 200 by 0 0.732 if you look at the denominator if it is exactly 1 200 by 1 is 200 if it is more than 1 if the denominator is more than 1, what happens? 200 by more than 1 will be less than 200. But the denominator is less than 1. 200 by something which is less than 1. Obviously, the answer will be more than 200, right? Answer has to be more than 200. Option A, B and C are all less than or equal to 200. So, these cannot be the answers. Yes or no? So, we can quickly eliminate the first three answer options and mark the answer as option D. So, it also shows that your calculation ability plays a key role for solving such questions. If you, if you don't get this logic, you will end up wasting a lot of time by simplifying this value. Alright? So make sure that apart from learning about trigonometry and all these various topics, you should also spend a time, a little time on practicing on calculations. Because the more you practice, the easier it gets. Right? It's all about getting the best idea at the right time. And that can happen only through practice. So keep practicing on calculations and be clear with your basics get your concepts right so that you don't find it difficult to answer such questions right though it looks to be complicated or lengthy arriving at the answer will be much easier if you are good at your basics and strong in your calculations